Hi, welcome back to Forensics. Today we're gonna to look at TCP Extract. So what do we use TCP Extract for inside of Forensics? Well, we're gonna use network packets. Now I did go through and grab a network dump. Let me see if I've got it here. There we go, we have an images.pcap file. And let's go ahead and grab TCP Extract. Now it is spelled a little strange, so do an app get install TCP Extract like this. There's no E. We'll grab that. I've already got the newest version, so if you want to grab that, go ahead. And now I'm going to go ahead and run TCP Extract. Well, let's look at it first. We'll do a man of TCP Extract and see what we can see. So extract files from captured network packets. Options we have here, we have to choose a device or we can choose from a file. We will be using a file in this case. It will be a packet capture file. Um, there is a choice to do an output directory. In this case, I'm in a demo directory that is, well, completely blank. So I'll go ahead and use that blank directory. So let's go ahead and use this TCP extract right here. And I've got the images.pcap file. Now where can you get um, the images.pcap file? Oops, sorry. Okay, where can you get the PCAP files like the one I have here? Go ahead and look online, look at Forensics PCAP packet capture files. And you can go through and find those. When you find those, you can go through and use things like TCP extract to recover that. Now, the first time I typed it, I didn't put the dash F after we went through and looked at the requirement for dash F. So, <laughs> so you do need dash F. But hey, you'll figure it out because if you type it without dash F, it won't work. Now, if we look in this directory here, we got the demo directory and we have a lot of files are recovered. So it, it pulled a lot of files out of here. Now, I'm not gonna take the time to actually go through all of these files, but this should give you a good idea of how to use TCP extract.